What's going on, Fireflies? It's me, Nyan Mue, and I'm here to present you with some greatness. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of foundation videos coming up, um, and this is the first of many, so just y'all go ahead and get ready now. All right, you guys, so in the first of like numerous foundation videos to come, uh, we're going to be talking about Urban Decay. Urban Decay has launched a new line entitled Dare Naked Skin Line. And it's come with a lot of stuff, but today I'm going to be talking about their new foundation and concealer. I'm excited because I've tried a lot of Urban Decay foundations in the past, and Naked in the Naked series seems to be the series that works the best for me. So I'm really excited to see how, well, not see how, because I've been using it, but I'm ready for you guys to see how Naked Skin looks on me. Before this video begins, if at any point you are enjoying yourself and enjoying me and the content I'm creating, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. And without further ado, we're going to get right into a demonstration, not first impressions, we'll explain later, but demonstration and wear test of the new Urban Decay Stay Naked series. So, let's go. Going into this video, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know, I have been using this foundation. I've talked about this foundation on Instagram and Twitter. So, this isn't going to be a first impressions. This is a review and demonstration and wear test because I want to at least let you guys know how it looks on camera and um, give you guys the whole experience, if you will. So up first, we have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This is the Weightless Liquid Foundation, as described on the website. Um, it has up to a 24 hour wear. This lineup is designed with 50 shades with nine intensities, three master tones and seven undertones to dial your precision color match. It is waterproof long wearing foundation that feels like wearing nothing thanks to a pretty cool flexible formula that moves with you all day up to 24 hours and only feels better but looks better stays true color. So essentially this foundation has a claim of being 24 hour wear, waterproof, doesn't oxidize, all of that's good stuff. I can tell you at least for me, as someone who works in makeup um, on a daily basis and is in an area that is very hot, I work on the beach, you guys. I work at a Walgreens on the beach. So it's hot right now. And um, this is one of the few foundations that I've been wearing that does not break up on me, if you will, like I posted video or videos here so you guys can see that I've been wearing this foundation at work for like five hours. I've done like a five hour check-in. I've done like an eight hour check-in and uh, this foundation holds up. It is a really good foundation if I do say so myself and I've tried a lot of foundations. For those of you who don't know I have oily combination skin and I tend to reach for foundations that have more of a medium at least medium buildable coverage i have the shade adcg which is 80 cool green or 80 cool golden okay yeah so i have the shade eight thank you i have the shade adcg which is classified if i'm not mistaken as a cool green shade uh which is interesting because looking at it it doesn't give the appearance of cool green if you will and for me i typically reach for foundations that have more of a neutral to warm undertone golden if you will for reference i wear 360 mocha in maybelline i wear 430 in fenty so that should give you kind of like a basis of where i am in terms of complexion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to Prep the skin just the way as I've been doing it since this foundation has came out. Um, I've been using primers that have more of like a, almost a matte feel, a creamy matte feel, if you will. I've been using the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Primer, uh, NYX Angel Veil. But the foundation I feel like works the best in my opinion with this, so far at least, has been the Professional Primer from Benefit. So I'm going to apply that. And of course, I focus this more so 
in my pores area so t-zone if you will right up in this good area all right and i'm also going to powder my t-zone as well i'm taking the black opal true color soft velvet powder i'm powdering my nose and i'm powdering up in this area because <laughs> thanks to genetics like my father my nose my forehead sweats uncontrollably which means that i'm mean apparently i'm gonna start with the stay naked foundation a few pumps of that i start with two but because i have a man face i end up using more as you can see with like two pumps it does a good job of like covering my face i have a few scars acne scars on my hairline that need an extra bit of love obviously but um for the most part it does a really good job of even out skin tone and it looks like my skin that's the one thing i really do appreciate about this foundation as well as the naked foundation um or the naked skin foundation from urban decay is that even if i build it up uh, it still looks like my skin like it feels very comfortable on my skin it doesn't feel heavy um, it has a really nice texture and it does a really nice job of mimicking my skin without like coming off as like I don't know how to describe it's weird long story short this is a good foundation <laughs> uh, I have been wearing it for at least two weeks and I can say that it does a really good job of like just looking like skin like it doesn't like settle into any lines or anything in my opinion it just does a good job of looking like I want it to like skin all right up next we have the stay naked correcting concealer so this is a vegan real skin matte concealer with 25% more pigment and full coverage that lasts up to 24 hours this has 25 shades, uh, features nine shades intensities, three master tones, and five undertones. It's a flexible real skin matte finish concealer. And um, yeah. So I have the shade 70 NY, which is a neutral yellow. Here's the applicator. Can you see it? Can you see it? Here's the applicator. So it's like a, got a hook in it, whatever. So if I were to compare the way that the concealer feels to anything out there now, I would say it's similar to like no filter concealer from ColourPop. It's a, it's a bit more creamier. Actually it reminds me of the no filter concealer from Fenty, if anything. It has that creamy nature to it. But I feel like the concealer from Fenty doesn't necessarily have more this much of a matte finish as this one. So I'm gonna let this, um, you know, sit for a little bit just to build up some coverage and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is all blended out. One thing I will say that I've been, before I get into it, cause I need to get this together. Um, one thing I've been doing lately is right after I blend out all my creams, I go and spray my face before I put powders on. So that'll help like, keep it fresh looking and everything, make everything easier to like lay on top of. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it first. Then go ahead and powder. I'm powdering with the Black Radiance Loose Powder, which is my favorite setting powder. Okay, so face is powdered and set. The concealer is very easy to blend out. I will say that it doesn't need as much time to like set before you blend. So if you're someone who likes to let your concealer set like I am, then you don't necessarily have to wait as long for that. But um, it looks really good. The skin looks really good. And I will say when I powder, like my highlighted powder or whatever, I do like down the bridge of my nose, under eyes, anywhere I put concealer, these areas here that don't have that powder look like they've been powdered down. Like that's how good this foundation look it looks matte like it's been powdered but it's not and it feels so comfortable in it I really like it I really I really do I've been enjoying this foundation and concealer for 
since it came out. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this and I highly recommend it for all of you. So, all right, you guys, this is, I finished most of my base off camera. So this is what we're working on. I just wanna let you guys know again that this foundation looks like the best thing in the world, like honestly. Um, I'm actually gonna do a wear test. So I'm gonna go out and run some errands real quick and then I'm gonna come back and I'll let you guys know how the face looks as a whole. And um, I, I don't have to really give you final thoughts because I stay in this foundation, but you're gonna see in just a second. So, there we go. All right, just doing a quick check-in. So it's been, I know it's only been about like two hours since I actually popped my foundation. However, I was out in a blistering hot sun. It is hot, you guys, like, how hot is it? How hot is it? It's 93 degrees right now. It's hot. So, you know, going outside in the blistering sun or whatever, um, my foundation, everything's still in place. Usually, if it's like really hot like this, you'll start seeing beads of sweat form. I don't see any of that. Um, my nose isn't even sweating, and that's where a lot of the sweat and stuff builds up. So, I believe it said it was waterproof. If it said it was waterproof, then I can kind of attest to that because I haven't like had any breakthroughs of sweat. And I've noticed that as well anytime I've worn it, like if I'm at work, I don't have any sweat breaking through. It's, and yeah. And even like with my oil, cause I have oily combination. Even with my oil, I have oily combination skin. And so I do tend to notice when, you know, my makeup starts to like get some sweat coming through, especially in this area here. Um, and I never notice any kind of breakthroughs anytime I wear it for an extended period of time. So I can tell you that the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer is that girl, will be that girl, and um, she's a new favorite of mine. Um, they also have a color corrector that's in the style of the concealer, and I didn't have that because I don't do much color correcting, but um, I, can, I, can, I can attest that this foundation slaps, so you should get it. All right, you guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, then go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. I'm actually doing another video very soon. Like, it's probably going to be uploaded within the next day or so after you see this. Um, so that's why I'm like half baked, if you will, because there's another video and whatever. But um, yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss all of that because I have a lot of great content I want to push out. So, um, yeah. Also, you guys, make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts. That is Neon MUA. Oh, God. Also, you guys, make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts. That is Neon MUA on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Snapchat. Love to have you guys be part of Firefly's family. I am so so close to 6k on Twitter and so close to 4k on Instagram so if you guys please subscribe and follow everywhere share it with all your friends tell people the, the good news of neon anyway <laughs> uh, all right you guys that is the end of my video again thank you so much for watching I truly do appreciate it urban K, if you're watching this thank you and until next time take care Later. Uh...